celebrate what for us is a pretty significant milestone. You know, we're almost now five years post Hurricane Sandy, and it has been a long and hard recovery process, and is still in many, many ways ongoing. Um, but, you know, in a lot of ways, I think this project is really emblematic of the process we've come through. This isn't just about saying, okay, we finished a project, let's cut the ribbon. It's really a chance to reflect on who we've become through this and how we've changed. And that's been on a lot of dimensions. You know, first as an agency, as we look at, you know, repairing any kind of system, investing in any kind of structure or resources, it certainly changed for us how we go about that. And in planning not for today and putting back what was here before the storm or before any event, but now looking to the future, understanding what a dynamic environment it is that we're living in, understanding, you know, the future that we're looking at in terms of climate change, in terms of increased frequency and intensity of storms, uh, rising salinity in the environment, sea level rise, changes in pH, changes in plant species, and looking at how we can reconstruct and plan a future um, where we're going to be ready for the changes that we're facing and that we're investing our money wisely and that we're creating something that's going to last beyond us. You know, and it's really, I think, changed our approach, particularly in natural resource preservation too. Um, well, I'd say both in, in the infrastructure itself and in how we manage our resources. I mean, it's not just, yes, we came in here and filled the breach and what you're looking at now is a hard-sided structure, but it isn't an approach of just man versus nature. It has to be man with nature. And so as we look at these kinds of systems, you know, we're also looking at the role of the natural environment uh, and working on planning out a living shoreline in front of um, the structure we've put in the breach and looking at the importance of natural restoration and the role it plays in wave attenuation, flood absorption, and how these things all have to work together. Um, you know, I think too, for us in the National Park Service, thinking about our approach to natural resource preservation, it's really helped shape and mold our own thinking as well. And you know, this project in particular created a really wide dialogue throughout the agency on natural resource preservation and you know what that means in the context of an urban environment for an urban national happened, um, you know, our, our typical approach to preservation says, let natural processes prevail. Let nature take its course. And in a lot of contexts, that would make sense and that would be what we wanted to see. Um, but, you know, looking at what we have here and the significance of this resource, the freshwater habitat here, which when you look at in a regional context and over the past several decades, the fact that freshwater habitat has been reduced by about 90%. The significance of what this offers, both for the environment and creating a place for that habitat to continue to exist, as well as for the millions of people right around here who can have access to that environment in an easily accessible understandable way get to come here and do this loop trail and directly experience this environment you know whether it be the birds the turtles um, you know the plants or just being out um, you know in, in the whole ecosystem it is really an unparalleled opportunity and so while there is certainly a place in our country in this world for letting natural processes prevail uh, in the pressures of an urban environment, there's a real imperative for carving out places for people to exist wherever we can. And for as we look at them and as we approach natural resource preservation and restoration, not just trying to put back what, what once was here, but really looking at what can survive into the future. And so that's the 
the lens through which we approach this. And from our end, I think that's how it's really changed us and our thinking and perspective and approach to what we're doing out here. So again, I just want to thank you for coming out to celebrate.